Hello everyone. Today I will show you how you can label objects in images and videos with Image Annotation Lab. The first thing that we must do is to create a new project or to open an existing project. Let's first create a new project by selecting a collection of images on the hard drive. So we click on File Create Project and then select the folder where our images reside. The images of the new projects are now visible in the browser view on the left side of the main window. If we click on one of these images, we make this image the active image. This is now displayed in the central window. The next step is to create a set of names for the annotation regions we want to draw. These names are called labels. To do so we click on the button Edit Labels and add a couple of new labels. Let's add a label called Person. Another label called animal. One more label called mushroom. Another label called background for the background region. And finally, we also delete the empty label which is always present as a starter label by clicking on edit, selecting, delete, and removing it. Okay. So we now see our four labels that we have created, animal, background, mushroom, and person. We are now all set to create our first annotations. We start by adding a manual annotation region using the polygon tool. So let's select that tool from the tools available on the left side of the main image viewer. We want to add a region called mushroom, so let's also select the right label from our set of available labels in the drop-down box and change the color for this label to blue. Now, we can start labeling our first region by doing a couple of left clicks along the contour of the object of interest. Once we are finished, we close the region with a double click. If we make a mistake, we can easily correct it by adding something to the region outlined so far or by subtracting something from it. Let us correct the missing part of our mushroom. Whether we add something or subtract something is determined by the plus or minus buttons located at the lower left hand side of the image viewer. So in order to subtract the newly drawn region from the existing annotation, you either click on the minus button to activate it, or you press the S key to only temporarily activate the subtract mode as long as you press that key. So let us try that and make a hole in our nice mushroom object. Well, now that we have created our first annotation, let's see how we can delete it again. In order to delete a labeled region, we first have to select it. This is done by making a right click somewhere on the colored area of the annotation. This will outline the region with a thick yellow contour. Once the region is selected, we can delete it by simply pressing the delete key. Don't worry if you delete something by mistake. You can always undo this by pressing Ctrl plus Z. Image Annotation Lab allows annotation regions with different labels to interact with each other. Interaction means that you can add, subtract, or intersect such regions. This makes the labeling of complex scenes much easier. Assume, we want to label everything but the mushroom on this image as background. All we have to do is to first select background as our new next label, and then draw a rectangular annotation on the whole image. We now have the background region overlap the mushroom region. In order to subtract the mushroom from the background, we simply select these two areas and press the Ctrl plus minus key. This will separate the mushroom nicely from the background. Note that the hole in the mushroom is now also marked as background. We can correct that easily by first deselecting everything by a right click outside of the image, and then selecting the contour of the hole and the inner background area, and deleting them. The mushroom is now complete again without a hole. Up to now, we have drawn our annotation regions by hand. This is fine, as long as the regions to label are not too complex. However, once you would like to have pixel precise labeling, this becomes very time consuming and tedious. Fortunately, Image Annotation Lab contains powerful artificial intelligence tools to assist you. One of these tools is called Interactive Segmentation. Interactive segmentation is activated by clicking on the AI button next to the image viewer. Once the AI button is activated, you can draw a rectangle around the object you would like to label. To demonstrate this, let us first choose a different label, 
We select the label person and we also select a different image. Now, we draw a rectangular region around the person. This opens a dialog for interactive segmentation. With interactive segmentation, we can add positive and negative clicks to an image, and thus guide the annotation process. A positive click, which is simply a left click, will ask the software to add the region around the click to the labeled region, and a negative click, which is shift plus a left click, will ask interactive segmentation to remove the area from the labeled region. The tool is smart enough to have knowledge about what constitutes an object, so that the labeling process only requires very few clicks to finish. Once we are finished with interactive segmentation, the labeled region is transferred back to the main window and assigned the currently active label. Another powerful feature of Image Annotation Lab is its ability to process video files and to annotate sequences of video frames automatically. To show this, let us create a new project. However, this time we do not use images stored on the hard drive but will extract a sequence of frames from a video file. So we select file and then create project from video file. We now choose our video file and the location where we would like to store the extracted frames. The video extraction dialog will show you important information about the chosen video file, like the width and height of each frame, as well as the frame rate, and the overall number of frames in the video. You can also define how you would like to extract frames from the video. For example, if you would like to extract every frame or only every tenth or twentieth, and how you would like to store the extracted frames. Let us extract every tenth frame and reduce the width of each frame to a more manageable size of 1100 pixels. The height of the frame will be adjusted accordingly to keep the original aspect ratio. After clicking OK, the frames from the video will be extracted and a new project is created. The new project consists of a sequence of images showing a tiger slowly walking from left to right. Our aim is to label the tiger by precisely drawing its outlines on every frame. In total we have 41 frames, so labeling each image individually is quite an effort. Luckily, we can resort to another smart tool in Image Annotation Lab, which is called Video Object Segmentation. With Video Object Segmentation we only have to label one or a few frames of a sequence and the computer will do the rest of the work. First, we select a new active label. We now choose Animal. Then, we need to label the tiger on the first frame. We can do that manually or, much better, use interactive segmentation once again. Now, we must tell video object segmentation about the objects on the start frame. Therefore, we select the tiger and choose Tools, Video Object Segmentation, and Set VOS Initial Frame. Once we have done that, we can try to label the rest of the frames automatically. So, let us select Tools, Video Object Segmentation, and VOS on Image Range. In the upcoming dialog, we now select all images of the tiger that we want the computer to annotate for us. So, we left click on the second frame, and shift plus left click, on the last frame of our sequence. Depending on your computer, and especially if you have a CUDA enabled graphics card, the processing of each frame will take something between 50 milliseconds and a couple of seconds. As we can see, the results are very convincing. The tiger was nicely segmented in every frame and this in a fraction of the time it would take us to do this manually. In case some of the segmentations are not satisfactory, you can correct them manually, and add the corrected frames as additional reference frames to video object segmentation. This will improve the result on the next run of the tool. This brings us to the end of this video presentation. There are many more features in Image Annotation Lab that we have not covered. I invite you to try it for yourself, and download it for free. Happy labeling.